Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today and all this week in fact we are going to be checking out some of the new Hot Wheels cars in Forza Horizon 4. Now I haven't made many videos on Forza Horizon 4 yet so I wanted to make a few more. I'm actually driving one of the old Hot Wheels cars here. You can see the twin mill beautiful car and i really like some of these new hot wheels cars they look fantastic now before we get into the video i just want to say a big thank you for getting to 800 subscribers we did that just last week and that was absolutely fabulous so thank you all so much for sticking around with the channel and joining us if you are new it means the world so yeah thank you to that and if you are new here we are trying to reach a thousand subs eventually so if you want to help us out with that, then yeah, hit subscribe and like the video. So we've got six brand new cars to check out over this week in the Hot Wheels expansion. If you want to go and pick up this Hot Wheels expansion for yourself, then it costs about seven pounds. Uh, I don't know what that is in dollars. It's roughly about eight or nine dollars, I think. So it's very inexpensive. You get six awesome new cars. And I'm gonna be checking out one every day this week. So to say thank you for helping us get to 800 subs, I thought this would be a kind of fun thing to do this week. Just for this week, we are returning to daily uploads. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that. And we are also doing a merch giveaway for 800 subs, which is finishing next Monday. So that's gonna be going on all this week, over the weekend, and I will be picking a winner next week. So if you want to join in with that, then I'll leave a link in the description to the Twitter giveaway down below. But today we're going to be checking out the first Hot Wheels car and that is the 2 Jet Z. And here it is, the 2 Jet Z. This is the first car that um, we're sort of going to be checking out of the six. And you can see here, this is definitely a Hot Wheels car. It looks absolutely nuts. Um, now this I believe is a real car so someone made this vehicle and then uh, they went on the Hot Wheels tour that happens every year and the I think it's the best three cars or the best two cars from the tour every year get turned into actual Hot Wheels little cars which is absolutely awesome I'd love to do that one day I'd love to visit the uh, Hot Wheels tour one day so um, yeah, hopefully that's something I can do in the future. But this guy has built this car in real life. It got turned into a Hot Wheels car and it is now in Forza, which is absolutely awesome if you're a car fan or if you've built a car and you can get it into Forza, that's pretty cool. So just looking around the car, we can see a few things. It does look like it has a jet engine there on the back. It's actually a fake jet engine. So that is actually just an exhaust, I believe. So it's powered by a 2JZ motor, which you can see just there in the back. And then it goes up to that turbo, which is just here on the side, you can see. And then it comes out in this sort of jet looking exhaust. So that's absolutely awesome. They've got this like really cool fighter-esque sort of theme going on so they've got like this fighter canopy on there and like the little side scoops and the cut off front end it looks absolutely awesome i think this thing is an amazing addition to forza horizon 4 and definitely to hot wheels so let's go ahead and explode the thing so we can see inside of it nothing else really opens up just the sort of canopy area there we can get a little bit of a look inside so that's pretty cool but let's go ahead and uh, have a run through the customization and see what we can do with this thing all right so we got seven million dollars or credits whatever to spend on this thing i'm not going to hopefully spend all of that because we've got five other vehicles to look at but let's have a first look at what engine swaps we can get in this so 
Standard, we've got the 2JZ engine, puts out 639 horsepower. We can put in the 3 litre racing V8, which goes down to 475. Um, is a little bit lighter though, and we can probably get a bit of horsepower out of that by upgrading it, but I think the JZ engine is pretty cool, so we'll leave that in there. Standard, it is rear wheel drive. We can convert to all wheel drive, which bumps it up to S2 class. So it's already in S1 class, so this thing is a speedy boy. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do that actually. We'll see how fast we can make this thing. So then we got the tyre options. These are all just going to be like normal. So it appears to have race tyres as standard. And then you can upgrade it with the Horizon race tyres, the um, snow tyre compound, which is like the rally tyres, or we can get drag slicks on it. I think we're going to go... I mean, it is winter right now in Forza, so I don't know whether to go with the snow tyres. I think we'll just leave the standard tyres, I think, are okay. How fat can we make the tyres? Pretty fat is the answer. Let's uh, get full width on those. Already looks much better. Yeah, fat tyres just make anything look better. I'm actually pretty happy with the wheels, but let's have a little run through and see if there's anything maybe a bit more appropriate. So I found these that are kind of interesting looking wheels. This is kind of like a futuristic like fighter vehicle, fighter jet-esque vehicle. And for some reason, these wheels sort of remind me of that. So... I think we're going to slap those on there. Uh, we can go for some bigger tyres if we want, like lower profile. But I think it actually looks better how it is, so we'll leave that. Let's go ahead and upgrade all of these. This is going to just make the car even faster. So we're still at 639 horsepower. We've not upped the engine yet. We'll put on full brakes. I think we're going to need that. So we've got the stock suspension, or we can actually put rally suspension on this, which raises it up a little bit. Not very much, but it does a little bit. We're going for a race car, so I'm not going to bother with that. We'll put on full roll bars, and let's go for a full roll cage in there as well. Just stiffen it up a bit. And this is where the fun begins. So 639 horsepower is standard. Remember that. Let's go ahead and slap everything on here and we'll see what we can get it up to. Okay, and it is now X class, so remember that. It has a 1,323 horsepower, that is absolutely nuts, and it weighs um, just under 2,000 pounds, which is very, very light for this amount of horsepower. It's got a 3.4 liter engine in it, so this thing is going to have a lot of power i think but that is the thing sort of fully customized we could go ahead and paint this thing we'll have a look at the paint options just in a second but honestly i do like how it looks already okay so we are in the paint options here just wanted to run through this in case you're interested so we have actually got advanced painting options in here so we can go all groups if you want to but we've got three different paint groups so group one what is that going to change that's going to change all of that okay um i'm just going to leave it as standard um group two what is that going to change so that's going to change that stripe on the side there um i don't know I, I think it looks pretty cool just how it was in the black to be honest because it keeps that kind of writing on the side which i really like as well and group three i'm guessing is going to change yeah that little sort of banding around the center there so you could go for like a color if you want to or you can go for like the full uh oops that's not what i had to do you can paint the whole thing if you wanted to but honestly i like the kind of fighter jet feel and i like the sort of like stickers on the side it doesn't have a bonnet it does have wing mirrors but you can't paint them you can actually paint these spoiler options so the spoilers are those like little kind of mud guards or like fenders on the back 
so I'm just going to leave those how they are. We can obviously change up the wheels because they're not the standard wheels, but I'm just going to leave them like that. And we can't actually tint the window a different colour. So that's kind of curious. I thought that would be a feature since it's orange already. I thought you might be able to change that, but unfortunately we can't. So there we go. That is the thing sort of fully customised. Let's actually take it to a race and see how fast this thing is. All right, so I have set this race. We're doing the Horizon Festival Sprint. I've set this to X class, all with Hot Wheels cars. So these are gonna be all Hot Wheels cars that we have in Forza Horizon 4. And already we are absolutely taking off going down here. This thing is absolutely nuts. I love it. It's all-wheel drive, we've got some amazing brakes in here, suspension and roll bars. The only thing is, it's winter. I think this thing would be more fun in the summer, which is not a fault of the car. It's just the time of year it is. Okay, this is where we're going to have to pick up a lot of time. We're on the run to the finish line. Can we at least get second? Yes, we just made second. Oh, that was close. Okay, so we didn't come first. Um, I will say in X class it is a little bit hard to handle um, so yeah unless you're a very confident driver if you drive supercars and the uh, hypercars all the time you'll probably be quite used to it the acceleration in this thing is like unlike any other car I've driven in Forza so far it's just absolutely crazy amount of horsepower in something that is this light and with all-wheel drive that just makes it even more incredible I mean even the lights on the front of this thing kind of remind me of like a jet so let's have a check out in first person so first person yeah you definitely feel like you're in a jet fight I mean the dials you've got like these analog dials on the front which are just absolutely awesome looking they really have just gone all out with the jet fighter kind of feel with this and something I'm actually noticing is the orange kind of tint on the windows gives you a lot of visibility in the night. So you don't have much visibility in the day, but at night time here, it almost gives you kind of night vision, which is something that's kind of interesting. I didn't really think about that, but yeah, if you're looking for some more visibility in your car, maybe tint the windows orange and you'll be able to see better. But that is the 2JZ or the 2 Jet Z, I should say. Absolutely fantastic little car. If you haven't got the Forza, uh, the uh, Hot Wheels pack yet, then I'd recommend picking it up. It is fantastic. We're going to be checking out all the cars this week, so if you're umming and ahhing whether or not to buy it, then hopefully this week will help you decide. But that's going to do it for today's video. Tomorrow we're going to be checking out another one of these Hot Wheels cars. We're going to be checking one out every day this week. So if you want to stick around for that, then make sure you subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.